What's up? Welcome in Libras. Welcome to Ocean's Tarot Garden. Today, 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 um, I'm trying to squeeze in some readings. I just realized we at the end of the freaking week and I ain't really posted nothing. It's been kind of a busy week here. Um, we are going to see what is blocking my Libras, okay? Let's, let's calm the energy down. That's very much needed. 333 was on the clock. All right, so let's see. What do we, what do we got here? What's blocking my Libras? Mm. Mm. All right, Libras. You motherfuckers are going against the grain. You are not doing what you are supposed to be doing, okay? It's giving, <laughs> I'm supposed to be developing, um, developing. I don't know if y'all remember, I gave y'all a reading, right? After the rebirth, after y'all went through y'all's rebirth and I was like, you know, you're gonna have to start preparing. You know, you're gonna win and you gotta start preparing for, you know, your next season of getting ready to give birth. But I feel like you guys haven't been preparing. And I just made a post yesterday on Facebook saying Libras and some other signs like, what the fuck are y'all doing? You're getting money. You're touching money. Money is coming in from every area. You're receiving your harvest, okay? It's like all of a sudden, all the seeds that you planted for greens are coming in. You know, the greens are coming in and... It's just like you're eating all of your greens because you you feel like you've been starved. But instead of eating some and putting some away for when, you know, the apocalypse or, you know, the uh, the Great Depression Part 3 come back around, you know, you guys have something in storage. Or when winter comes in or when it's not harvest season for you anymore, you have something to snack on or something to work with. You guys haven't been doing that. And it's showing here in the cards, okay? I feel like you guys, you're going to have to, like, get back inspired. I feel like you guys, I'm not saying, like, you are inspired, but I do feel that um, you guys have become quickly comfortable. Like, you got comfortable quickly. I don't know if it's business booking up, you guys getting these bonuses, these promotions, these new jobs, and then taxes coming in, and it's just lump sums of money. I feel like you guys are handling your business. You, you guys are like, you're getting better at paying your bills, doing things on time, getting caught up on things. But don't forget to pay yourself and put your own stuff in savings. I know sometimes we'll be like, we can't pay ourselves because we got all these bills going on. We got this going on. We need to handle this. But no, Libras, you should be saving at least maybe at least 80 to 100 or at least 100 to 200 dollars a month with all this extra funds coming in right um so it's, it's just saying that you guys have to get back into that mindset of um dedication once again of you know wanting to keep the solidified uh foundation i do see that um how can i put this i do see that like I said, you guys are handling business, but I feel like you're handling business and you're becoming so used to having this extra money. You guys could be splurging right now on things that, you know, you couldn't do before. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with taking care of yourself or, you know, spoiling yourself a little bit when you get out of those dry seasons. But don't become comfortable and like, oh, money's going to come in. Money comes to me. Money's flowing to me. Because when you go through, when it's time to, you know, get on bed rest, when it's time to push and go through your rebirthing because your rebirthing season is not like a regular birth okay it's not oh i've been pregnant for nine months i'm about to go have this baby in a couple of hours no your rebirthing is okay you get put on bed rest because um it's it's time to buckle down and get ready for this you know the the lesson the the crunch of the lesson then once you get to the crunch and it's time to get birth, you crowning, you crown for a couple of months, and you start pushing, you start pushing, and things get dry, things get hard, you start feeling stressed, you start feeling depressed, and you start lacking. 
you can't work when you're giving birth. You can't, you can't do things. You get called to be put on sit down. So maybe you're not producing as much. Maybe you're not as energetic as much. Maybe you're in a, you know, your mental is in a dark space, whatever it may be is different for everybody. So spirit is just like, you got to keep those things in mind. Do you remember what it was like in 2023 for you, Libra? Do you remember all the hardships and how the whole year was a fucking birthing cycle for you guys every time you turned around you were getting ready to give birth again it was like you was knocked up every time as soon as you pushed the baby out you got pregnant again like right as soon as the baby came out you found out she was pregnant again and it's time to rebirth again i'm not saying you're about to have those same cycles but you will still have rebirthing cycles in the year 2024 i know it's your year you're living great you're living lavish but spirit is saying look don't don't become rebellious to the ideas of what you wanted to do, okay? It's given like, you're, you know that you want to stack and save, but you feel like, damn, I deserve this. And Spirit said, yeah, you deserve it, but you have to put a limitation on those things. You have to start saving for yourself. You have to, you know, get back into that mindset as well. I also want to tell you guys, don't overwork yourself. Uh, Spirit is saying for you guys to work smarter, not harder, okay? Okay. Um, you, you make things work out for yourself, okay? You create, the, you create the things for yourself, okay? So, I'm, I'm just saying the blockage is, the blockage is you. You got to get back to where you're, where you wanted your mind, where you wanted things to be when we started off 2024, okay? You had these, you had these high ambitions, these high goals, and as soon as the money start flowing in, you guys start acting brand new. <laughs> you guys forgot, you know what? I'm working hard. I'm getting this fucking money. I'm about to blow it. I got this money coming in, money coming in left, right. Money flow to me, money walk to me. You're feeling very um, godlike, okay? You're feeling very blessed. You're feeling very abundant. But in that time, it's just like, don't forget. Don't get too comfortable with the money flowing in because it's going to start slowing down. I'm telling you, it's going to start slowing down. It could be in April. I'm hearing like if kids start slowing down in March, it could slow down in April. I don't feel like that's a birthing stage, but it's just the hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you, you know, things gonna start pulling back. Like, do you have anything saved? What can you do? Okay. I also feel like um mm, mm, I see this hair fin this lovers in reverse. This page of one and clean of one is in reverse. I'm king of coins. Get out of relationships that you're settling in. Okay? Get out of those. Those are blocking you as well. So if you guys just need to separate from somebody because you're not getting what you deserve. They're not fulfilling your spiritual needs. Okay? As well as your physical needs. So that's what I have for you, Libras. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.